Hello sports fans, how we doing? We're back, back in the vlog life. Uh, yeah, I've been quiet on here for a while. It's not much been happening to be honest. Uh, Ireland's back in lockdown. COVID kind of kicked off again pretty bad. So uh, yeah, I haven't been, well, I've been training away, but also it's been at home, so it hasn't been that exciting. So there's not much to, to film to show you guys. Yeah, we're on the gravel bike. I got this thing a while ago, back in December. And uh, yeah, I've been loving it. I've ridden it a bit, but not as much as I'd like. Um, and so far, like I've realized how capable it is, how capable these bikes are. And I've been curious to see, could, is it as good as a mountain bike or can you ride mountain bike tracks on it? Um, like my kind of feeling so far is that it's like riding an old school mountain bike, like a 90s mountain bike, full rigid. Um, so yeah, we're up in Ticknock today. We're gonna ride a bit of Ticknock, a bit of the gap on proper legit mountain bike trails and see see how it holds up. Like I think, I think it's gonna be pretty good, but it's definitely gonna be sketchy. I think, uh, you know, the tires and everything is good. The geometry's really good. But when you get into those drop handlebars, you feel so vulnerable. You're so like over the front, but um, yeah, stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. Oh man, it's be so on your toes like every different group of rocks or hole. You just don't know if it's gonna roll through it, but so far so good. <laughs> We're just bouncing down the hill here. <laughs> nice turns here now. Should love this. Whoa. Maybe lost the front. Is it good? Oh, where are we open? <laughs> That was mad, unreal. This, uh, yeah, just rode that blazing saddle track. It's like, uh, yeah, a new one built by the Trailbreaker crew, one of the official trails here. And like, it's good fun on a mountain bike. Like, it's not a bad trail at all. Oh man, this thing absolutely flew down. I can't believe it. Like, yeah, that was no less enjoyable than it would be on a mountain bike. Just like, probably more, even more fun because you're just on your toes the whole time. Like, the bike just deals with it. And, yeah, this thing goes.
So, <laughs> made it into the gap here now. Uh, local bike park. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I think these trails would actually suit this really well because they're kind of fast rolling, flowy, a few natural doubles and stuff. Yeah, let's give it a go. So far, I'm so impressed with this thing. It's definitely going to be become a regular thing where I just go ride mountain bike trails on this. Have to start uh, seeing how far I can push it and see what kind of stuff you can ride. Like at the moment, I'm only riding blue and red trails, so it's pretty tame. Um, but I reckon there's I reckon there's more to, to get out of it. Like I'm only getting used to it now. The more time I spend on this, because at the moment I'm like so used to my enduro bike that this feels sketchy in comparison. But I think the more I get used to this and realize that it's actually not as sketchy as I think. Yeah, it's pretty gonna open a few doors into possible trails to ride or routes to ride because uh, yeah, it's definitely a good bike for doing a bit of exploring on. And yeah, excited. Only scratching the surface of this thing and so far so good. I'm sure if I had the speed for that. Watch you wet. Wow. This is quick enough. <laughs> Be a tricky little uphill here. Have to deploy the trial skills. Deploy the trial skills. Oh. We're up. Oh. Well, here we have it. Made it out into the depths of Wicklow here now. It's uh, started fully raining. It's very wet. Stop for a snack. Got my cookie. Got that from Timber Trove Cafe on the way out here. Would recommend. Shout out to them. So I'll give you a look around this beast. It's a Da Vinci hatchet. It's got full Shimano GRX. So disc brakes, tubeless tires, Maxxis Rambler, the tires that are on it. Um, we've got a dropper post which is very nice holding my cookie at the moment. You got a nice little lever in here. And uh, yeah, this is how it came out of the box from Da Vinci, so I haven't changed that and I just put on a, a tube and a pump and a water bottle. But uh, yeah, good rig, good rig goes good. So good, I had little lumps and stuff, you get such a good pump off the backside on this without suspension. <laughs> but then you also feel every single one. Pros and cons, eh? I have a moment where I forget what bike I'm on. I just come into it as if I'm on it like. <gasps> oh. 
fork him so far. But this is steep here now. Steep and a steep. Drop this to the side. Oh, I don't want wet feet. Nice, nice, nice. Great success. <laughs> oh. I actually don't think this is possible. Whoa. <laughs> it worked. Holy hell, I was going to end up in my face there. Okay. Things get tight and slippy and off camera down here. Let's see if these tires can hold the rut. Yeah! Ah! Just a dab. Ah! Hold the rail. we have it I think uh, I think it's safe to say that you definitely can ride mountain bike tracks on a gravel bike question answered uh, yeah so impressed with this thing like I knew it was capable I knew you can do quite a lot on it but I knew you can really let her go like it just it's not that far off a mountain bike at all like I don't think you know I think if I had like an 80 mil cross-country hardtail I probably wouldn't have been doing much more than what I did there which is pretty incredible considering like this thing looks like a road bike um, yeah amazing what a machine what a machine so yeah there you go hope you enjoyed the video uh, yeah something that I thought might be interesting to see if you know what's a gravel bike like on mountain bike trails is there anything else you want to see let me know in the comments below till next time Woo!